YouTube, Vulgary D Queen here. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. We are reviewing Black Clover, Chapter 267, The Devil Binding Ritual. You start out with the devil laughing and very good, saying, well, laughing, having a good time that he finally has his body. And, oh, you, this, Austin's like, that's what you look like. Hold on, I have something to say to you, devil. Thank you. And so he thanks him in a way. Thank you for lending me your power, basically, uh, during those fights and lending your power during those fights. It helped me. So thank you very much. You managed. Seriously, thank you so much. So he thanks this devil. Not surprising that this is Asta, but still, that, that's a good moment. Maybe this, maybe we'll see something for Asta's kindness and understanding the situation. And he's like, and the devil is like, you say that to the guy that took your arm? And he's like, well, that was part of the deal. I've got no, I have no complaints about that. So Asta's really accepted the deal. Great, you, you you lend me a power, you have my arm. Great. That, that's fine. And the devil makes, oh, you're a total idiot. And I'm going to kill you. And, he, and Austin screams back, no, I'm not going to, I can't let you do that. And so the devil summons the grimoire, the five clover grimoire, away from Asta and pulls out Demon Slayer's sword and starts to attack. And all Asta really can do is dodge. Because remember, Asta doesn't have magic. The only thing, the only power and magic he does have is the anti-magic from the anti-magic demon. He doesn't have any magic at all. He doesn't have any mana at all. So all he can really do is use his own physical strength to dodge the attacks. And... The demon is screaming at Asa, you walked right into my turf. This time I'm taking all of you. So just basically attacking, saying, I'm going to take all of you. And he says, hold it, jerk. I don't want to fight. Just listen. <laughs> and not just on the side and says, fight. You came here to get stronger. You have to defeat this devil, basically. If you lose, the devil will take over your body and you will become a monster essentially. And it, all who have failed this ritual are now bones on the wall that you see around this ritual room. And it, it shows a very interesting picture of three wizards trying to bind demons to them. And also thinks, isn't that forbidden magic? And the devil binding ritual thing, something you aren't actually supposed to be doing. And Notch replies, you only have two days to get stronger. You think it was going to be easy that you weren't going to be able to do that? You have to work in this world to do this. So here you go. And the anti-magic demon is attacking him. What are you doing? If this keeps up, he'll kill you. No. Off to his assistance. He's not actually trying to kill me. I can tell from his key. And Notch doesn't look questioning. He's just this blank face, but you hear, you see these dot, dot, dots. So it's like he's thinking about, well, why would you say that? And the demon looks back at him and he's like, what? As well. And then, of course, you got Notch. What are you talking about? Your opponent is the devil. Devils don't have compassion. They, they don't have principles, and the devil agrees with him. The anti-magic demon agrees with him. Um, that is right. Every devil out there is a total scumbag. And um, Ost is thinking, this guy isn't like the devil I fought before in the Elves' Ark. I'm going to steal your body, says the anti-devil. And this is what Asta says. Just because you're a devil doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad guy. And the devil looks like he's having a flashback or a look and sees what looks like Asta's mom. After all, you aren't a bad guy. And he's, damn it, he's upset about that. So there's several interpretations, I would say, about that. Seeing Asta's memories and um, relating it back to what Asta is saying 
And it's more of the devil remembering Asa's mother than Asta himself. I would say that I think the anti-magic demon, when he was human, maybe had met Asta's mother and was, you know, a petty thief or something like that. Or he... And he met Asta's mom. There's there's several different theories on there. Like, it could be Asta's uncle, the brother to Asta's mom, or it could be Asta's father, or it could be a random guy that really loved Asta's mother and before her death tried to help her to do something. So there's many different theories on that. It could be Asta's father, Asta's brother, Asta's uncle, or someone that's not even related to Asta at all and just knows Asta's mother and maybe fell in love with Asta's mother. And the reason why he ended up becoming a devil was to save Asta and his mom in some way. That is a high possibility. He has a great hatred for Dante too. So it's obviously more to the story and I can't wait to unravel that mystery. That, that, that would be awesome. But here is a thought or theory about that, that it's possible that the anti-magic devil is not related to Asta at all, but Asta is still a half-demon, half-human hybrid. And because he is, demons are considered fallen angels, he would be considered a Nephilim, a Nephilim, a Nephilim. And in lore, Nephilim are considered the children of angels, whether fallen or not that have mated with human woman. And so they're essentially half angels or half demons, half human. And they're actually, in, in several lores, they're considered abominations or even um, not in the favor of God. In fact, the reason God flooded the earth is because he saw the numbers of Nephilim growing and decided no, and decided to flood the earth and get rid of them. There could be a weird experiment going on within the Spade Kingdom where they're having these half-devils, de half-human hybrids. And yes, they're higher than the humans, which they consider cattle, but they're still used as and experimented on because they are half-human and therefore below these full devils that have possessed these people's bodies. It could be seen as that as well. There, There's so many possibilities you can go from the story from here just from learning this or just seeing this play out, this demon binding ritual play out right here, right now, because I think it's going to end in a way that Notch is not expecting. And that would be very interesting. Like, they don't necessarily... The anti-magic demon in Austin necessarily do not have to fight to come to a compromise, to work together, and for him not to possess his body. And that may shock Notch in itself, because Notch has been part of the Spade Kingdom and obviously went through this ritual, maybe even a couple times, to bind these certain devils and demons to him. So he has to be the one on top. There's many possibilities going from here. I, I can't wait for next chapter to find out more of what the anti-magic demon's relationship with Asa's mother is and how that's going to come in and play in a key role of the relationship of the anti-magic demon and Asta himself within his grimoire. Because Asta doesn't have any mana or magic. He has none. And the anti-magic demon has more of the trump card and the power to overthrow Asta very easily, but he's not doing so. Apparently by his key reading, that, that Asta can read that in his key, that he's truly not trying to hurt him. So it, it would be interesting to see what happens next. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe if you want more content. Bye, YouTube, and have a wonderful day.